Hello everyone, it's Anna from Anna's Paper Creations and uh, in this uh, video I will show you what's inside the drawers in this uh, typography desktop organizer and configuration box. So I will link to the video below where I show the whole box if you haven't seen it and want to have a look. So this opens up like so and here are four uh, drawers. So I will uh, take my uh, camera off uh, the tripod and <laughs> try to uh, show you and hope you I don't make you too dizzy. So we will start with the first uh, drawer here. So it's, uh, here are some uh, sections of uh, different uh, things to go for a typography and uh, or a typograph. And here I have a tiny little box, and here is a belly band. I can manage to do this one hand, so I had to <laughs> use both my hands. So here is a belly band to hold it together. There. So this was a box that I just covered with uh, papers, and inside there is uh, some clips. So, like so. So uh, I think the typographer needs some clips. And also, if you didn't see the previous uh, video, I uh, use this uh, typography papers from Graphic 45. And here is a little lock that flips up and I used acetate inside here. And here is a eraser and also some uh, elastic. And different pieces inside here. So, yeah, some twine. Yeah. So this goes inside here. And uh, this uh, little uh, locker here is uh, from Tim Holtz. And these, I think, are from uh, We Are Memory Keepers, but I'm not sure they are old. And uh, here are some stamps with the clips on. And these clips are from Tim Holtz. Just painted them black. So it says 45 here. And a little compass here. And this is, uh, I'm not sure what this is called in English, <laughs> but uh, yeah, you can see, like so. Typographer, I think he used that. <laughs> and here is uh, some clip sort of thing that I just glued some paper on. And um, here is. Uh, some uh, uh, clips to um, to put inside here. So this is also a belly band, and uh, here it opens. Let's see if I can manage with one hand here. So this was um, a box, so I just covered it with uh, some papers. Here you can see it. So then I can take this out of the way and show you the next uh, drawer. Inside here I uh, have some uh, pencils and I uh, cut out from the paper line. So i just take this out of the side so to make a box out of it. So I cut it out twice and uh, took some hinges on the side. And uh, inside here I have a flip here. So. And see if I can get some out. There it comes. <laughs> some uh, pencils yeah and um, yeah I can show you the back side as well so here I have a um, sort of a, a writing desk and it's uh, layered uh, two times with the uh, pop dots so like so letters on the top and this is layered three times with the pop dots so that's uh, what I really like about this uh, paper uh, you can create some dimensional uh, uh, things out of the fussy cut. Really love that. And here uh, I had an uh, old uh, telephone book, or it's not so old, but uh, I have um, had it in my drawer for a long time and didn't use it. So then I just thought I decorated a bit. So here is a place to write addresses and uh, telephone numbers and so. So I'm sure I think I covered the back also. And I also used uh, washi tape here. Really love using that. So, and this tie is uh, from uh, Tim Holtz. 
So uh, such number and uh, yeah, this one. <laughs> and uh, here I have some. Uh, I think it's leather that I rolled uh, on a thick needle and used the Claudine Helmet Multimat and uh, just twined it around and let it dry. And uh, all the images here, I, um, if you can see it, the first layer I uh, cut out and layered on the black paper, uh, glued it down with the Claudine Helmet Multimat and cut it out one more time just to create some depth in it. So it's a lot of work, but uh, really fun doing that. So, and here is a flower from Graphic 45, just for some decoration. So we can put this inside here. And the straw pulls here are from uh, Butterbee scraps. So, and the next one here, I have some stamps. And these are from uh, this uh, stamp set from Graphic 45. And it's uh, retired, so I'm not sure if you can find it anymore, but uh, just take a Google search if you like to find it. So here are all the alphabet. So pull out one and show you, like so. So this I keep inside here. So I better have to have some stamps. Or a typograph, I mean. <laughs> And inside uh, the last box here, here are some uh, cards, so um, I also <laughs> made some more. So I think I will put uh, my camera on the tripod and uh, uh, show you a bit more close up. So I made uh, seven different uh, cards. <laughs> I was uh, using up my uh, fussy cut leftovers, but uh, this was so fun, so <laughs> I ended up a fussy cut uh, more. So uh, yeah, we can maybe start with this uh, first one, and it's uh, four cards in uh, this drawer. <laughs> Didn't fit all of them, so but I always uh, need uh, cards. So here is uh, the first one, and I cut out uh, "Live, Love, Laugh," and this are uh, popped up on uh, 3D foam. And uh, here's a beautiful lady also popped up, and uh, this bench here is uh, from uh, Mariana Design Dai. And uh, she is looking at uh, this uh, gentleman here. I also have a little tag behind here, happiness. So, and Fussy got out some here, and here I used the frame. Uh, yeah. So inside, it looks like so. And this uh, also fussy cut and layered on uh, black cardstock just to create some more depth in it. And here it says grow old alone. And here's uh, that man again and a uh, lady here. Live, love, love. Live, love, love. And uh, some can be taken out. So, and just plain like so on the back side. So that was uh, the first one. And then I created a more masculine one, it's uh, this one, a typography, and it's uh, popped up. And I uh, cut out some um, bottles, and uh, if you see here I popped uh, this label up a bit here, if it shows up. And I uh, put in some pencils and uh, brushes and so. And uh, this can be open, like so. And it says, Lib is what we make. It always has been, always will be. And I really love the quotes in this uh, paper line here. So, yeah, and this is also popped up uh, several times here. So, and uh, a loose tag I made. Have a good day. So, this pops inside here. So, just to glue this, this on the sides here. And I have a magnet closure here, and I also uh, wrapped some twine around under this typography here. So I inked up with, uh, used uh, different ink pads from Tim Holtz. And uh, these uh, corners here are from, for a box, I just cut them apart, and these are from Butterbee Scraps also. So I will link to her shop below, she has a lot of fun uh, metal embellishments. So then it opens like so, and here I cut out the pencil and I uh, covered it with uh, this uh, pen nib here. So I just put them, it on top. And it says, write your story, and a typewriter here. 
and here I also cut out the uh, inside of the um, stamps. Uh, this is only black and uh, off-white and uh, grey and so, so I uh, didn't want any colour in the stamps, so I did this, made two stamps here. So, and it closes up with the magnet, and like so on the back. And here I cut out uh, from the border uh, around uh, where all the images are. So that was uh, that card, and now for a more colourful card, it's uh, this one. So I, r I love that you can uh, make uh, really colourful things with this paper line, and you can also make it uh, grunge and uh, vintage. So here on the front I use uh, uh, from the shipboard uh, cutouts and the fussy cut list lady, and uh, then I took my craft knife and cut around this uh, book here, so it uh, creates a bit dimensional here. And this uh, butterfly is a punch from Martha Stewart. And here it says create, and it's also popped up in uh, Paris and some stamps. And uh, these uh, flowers I made, uh, these are uh, from a punch from Nelly Snellen. And a cat peeking up on the lady here. And this can be opened this way. And here are some more quotes. So, life is what we make, it always has been, always will be. And it's a good day to have a good day. So, and it's magnets behind here. And here is some place to uh, to write a personal message. And uh, have these flowers here again. A little and tag behind here. So, and just plain on the back. Just used one of my leftovers here. So, and then the fourth card that's in the drawer. Uh, this one. And here it says a dear friend and can be taken out. So maybe you can see it's dimensional. I think I popped it up twice on this one. Yeah. So you can see maybe inside here. And uh, yeah, I used some pens and uh, went all around here. And uh, uh, envelope opener here. So and some loose tags behind here. So it opens up here and uh, some loose tags behind here again. And this also is loose, so I can take something behind here. So, yeah, and some pens and, yeah. And uh, here is a cameo, and uh, now I'm sorry I don't remember where I got it from, but it was maybe but be scraps, I'm not <laughs> sure. So sorry for that. Uh, and this uh, lace behind here I got from uh, my friend Annie. So thank you so much, Annie. Really love this for use for cameos, and uh, Annie has a lot of beautiful laces in her Etsy shop. So uh, I will link to it below if you want to have a look. She has really affordable prices and uh, shipping. So uh, then for the cards that didn't uh, fit in the drawer. So here is a more uh, grunge, uh, girly one. So here is uh, from the shipboard cutouts. And here it says creative and uh, yeah, I have some gooses here and uh, that's uh, fussy cut, it was all in one piece. And uh, envelope here from a McGilk punch and some more Nelly Snell flower punches and some bottles here and uh, yeah, and uh, here are some tags. And this I made out of um, uh, when you buy the shipboard you get the negative and then you can just draw, draw inside the negative and then uh, you get the same shape so yeah and some more tags here and this I drew from the negative from uh, both these two from um, the um, uh, pockets and uh, tags cutouts so. and uh, inside uh, just a little pocket here, and uh, I also used uh, different six by six papers from uh, various uh, uh, paper collections. They all fit so very well together. So then this paper line doesn't come with a six by six. So then you can use uh, someone else. So it's the back side, and I also used a uh, black uh, soot uh, distress uh, paint all around. And here I created a frame from uh, the border uh, strips. And, uh, 
Now from more uh, masculine again. Here is from the shepherd cutouts and I made some banners and a, a pen nip and this is also cut out from uh, uh, this was maybe from yeah one of these uh, borders on uh, these cutouts and uh, here maybe you can see the dimensional on the, on the typewriter this is cut out four times so I hope it's enough light here to show it so and this uh, can be pulled out so you can write a personal message here so really fun doing this and I laid it with uh, some burlap here and uh, button, bottom, <laughs> bottom. <laughs> Sorry, my English sometimes, <laughs> but I hope you understand. And here it says topography. So, and inside I made a tag and uh, on a twine it's hanging here. So this can be pulled out and this can also be placed behind here. And some keys on the top. So. This goes right inside here again. So I really love creating cards and uh, you don't have to do so much like this uh, when you're creating cards. It's just me that I uh, think it's uh, fun to do. So uh, when you use this paper I think it always uh, came out uh, beautiful whatever you layer. So and here I have some uh, chain and uh, yeah a pen and uh, here I also glued on an extra pen nib here and some twine around and I just dress it up a bit glued it down and now for the last card it's a colorful card again so uh, I have a ribbon uh, bow on the top and this is from uh, my arts and uh, this uh, center here is also from Nellie Snellen Punch and a little flat back uh, pearl here and uh, this uh, window die is from uh, memory box or poppy stamps and I first cut out this uh, man here is uh, looking down to the lady I think she's sitting there and singing on the bench and this is also from Marianne Design and the grass border die is uh, no that's a punch from uh, Martha Stewart and uh, uh, this uh, grass here is uh, a die from Magnolia and uh, this lady is also popped up, if you can see that. So, and the curtains also are from memory box or poppy stamps. And this butterfly here is uh, is um, Martha Stewart punch. And a little cat looking up here. So, and uh, this uh, is a tag, but I uh, made it so it can be used as a card. So here is from uh, the uh, shipboard cutouts and uh, uh, here you can write the personal message. So uh, this uh, was uh, my uh, projects for the drawers and a bit more. And in the next video I will uh, show you the file folder to go in uh, the box. So thank you so much for watching everyone and uh, if you have any questions please look below the video. There I have some information how I answer them. So take care and have fun creating. Bye bye.